Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love reading and it will be from now to the end of May 2021 as I am releasing these a little bit early um, and it is for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Let's get straight into the reading and pull your overarching oracle card for the month. So what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Capricorns. Thank you for May 2021. Message for Capricorn, please. For May 2021, please. There's the card. So we have freedom. You can see the ghost cage there. And the string that's kind of pulling it free, you know. It feels like there's some liberation freedom going on here, Capricorn. Okay. Message for Capricorn, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Capricorn. And remember, the cards are what they are. They won't resonate for everybody. You know, the message is what it is. So I'm going to pull three cards and then clarify, go deeper into the message, Capricorn. Okay. So we have the three of wands. In the challenge position, advice from spirit. Page of swords. And the eight of cups. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Okay, so we have the nine of wands. Six of Wands. I've got the Page of Swords again here, Capricorn, so that's appearing twice. And bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. So there's Freedom here. It, it feels that there's a situation that you are getting a new perspective on, Capricorn. The Nine of Wands signifies a difficult journey, test of faith. Um, the Wounded Warrior who has, you know, it's been a battle to come so far. And there's one one to go and then there is completion. So it feels like there's one obstacle, one hurdle to go, and then you can set your sights on the future. What you want to take action towards, what you want to manifest. Interestingly enough, that can be a ship coming in, but it can also be a ship leaving, you know, but this is somebody who is empowered with the Three of Wands, the Sun in Aries, so we see somebody, whatever that ship is doing for you, there's definitely an energy of somebody who is putting their power, their energy, their drive into bringing new growth, expansion, things opening up in their life. And the first signs of success, the first signs of manifesting a new path coming your way. It is a challenge here because I feel that there's one, one to go. I have the new journey in a way unfolding here. But I also have the history of the old journey still finishing. And it feels like that's what the challenge is. It just feels there's one one to go. And it definitely feels, I mean, the spirit is kind of saying that's coming very quickly because the six of wands is finally putting some challenging situation behind you and being ready for that new perspective. You know, the the it feels like there's been a challenge in terms of a relationship and you are wanting that liberation you are wanting the freedom there's one hurdle to go and then that's it it's all about new horizons um the first signs of new success the first signs of i mean this can also be something good coming towards you uh, but it, it just feels that something is getting in the way of the new starting right now but it's going to finish because, you know, this is the significant achievement. This And feeling pretty good about it. You know, the six of wands is a feel-good energy, a victory, a success, a you know, after a challenge. 
finally, I can put that behind me. It has taken all my effort and energy, but finally, I can put that behind me and focus on a new path. And the Page of, of Swords is all about the new, you know. Uh, I mean, it can be news. So, you know, there could be news that brings in some kind of victory here, some kind of significant achievement or some kind of release that makes you think, oh, finally, just bring it on with my life because I finally overcome that final hurdle. And yeah, I am just ready for the new, the winds of change. And I see sometimes the, the Page of Swords as the Wind of Change card because it is all about new perspectives, new ideas, um, focusing on the new path, you know. It, it, but again, there could be some news that brings in some kind of victory. I see somebody walking away here, Capricorn. I mean, this could be you making your mind up to walk away or uh, maybe somebody's walked away from you now or walking away from you but you know this can be a card of saying goodbye you know that could be the news here again with the page of swords but it's also an energy of I'm definitely getting this energy of emotionally being ready to move on because the eight of cups can be about disappointment or things have run their course, it does, something doesn't serve you anymore. So you turn your back and you walk towards the nine of cups, which is the heart's desire, the wish fulfillment. So there's definitely this energy of something has played out here and it feels like if, if either you, there could be somebody physically saying goodbye here, you or some, your, your other half, but it can also be an energy of being ready to emotionally move on from a situation that has been a challenging journey, you know, and finally allow yourself to focus on that new perspective, new ideas, fresh thinking, fresh. Um, it, it feels definitely this liberation energy, you know, because the, page the pages are all curious, you know, about the new, uh, about change. Uh, they're ready to give the new a go, you know, it's, it's this kind of energy. I'm curious about what possibilities lie in front of me. It just feels a really fresh perspective that's coming your way. Yes, this can be news as well, but I feel it's more than that Capricorn in this energy. Because whatever this is, it doesn't feel like that's where you're placing your focus anymore. If anything, you want something to be done with, finally done with and put behind you so you can focus on what's ahead. And this is saying we have a three at the beginning and a three at the end of the reading. And the three in tarot is all about manifesting the new, uh, creating something new, the first signs of success. So the three of cups is a card of, uh, it is a card of closure. It is a card of closing one door and being ready to open another. Uh, the winter is over, the spring is here. So I am ready to close the door in that part of my life and I'm all ready to focus on the new perspective, the winds of change. I'm ready to embrace that. I'm ready to manifest a new path. There could be some celebration here as well that something's finally done. You know, the Three of Cups is a, is a feel-good energy. It can also be friends, family giving you emotional support and guidance, communication here. But it, it definitely feels in this instance that something's finally done this month. Uh, it, it, it feels like there's one hurdle to overcome, one thing to put behind you. And then there is just this wonderful, fresh, youthful, uh, new wind of change coming your way is what all I'm feeling here. Uh, it just feels like, and it just feels you're ready, you know, you're ready. You're ready for that freedom. And you're just absolutely saying, yeah, bring it on, bring it on. I am ready for whatever's coming my way. Um, I am finally put that situation behind me. So yeah, that's the message. I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Capricorn, please. I'm just going to shuffle these. Final message for Capricorn, please. We have Digital Detox Sloth. 
recalibrate, reset and recharge. And that's definitely what I'm feeling you're doing. I really do. And we have polar bear, nurture, allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed. I'm going to pull you one more Capricorn because I feel we need one more card. Oh my goodness, that's so on point. The lion, honour, honour your soul and celebrate its journey. And I just feel this energy of bring it on. There's one thing to finalise here and then it's just kind of like, yeah, the world is my oyster. I am ready for the new. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.